Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, okay, Four of Swords. So they like um, that it, <laughs> they like peace and quiet, which I, hmm, almost sounds like they like the quiet times when nothing's going on here. I don't think it's that. I think what they mean is they like the deep level soul peace that they find in this um, connection. So through a sense of perhaps recognition, feeling like they don't really have to use so many words for you to understand who they are as a person, where they're coming from. And I feel that because this lamb, you know, we've got this massive sun here over its third eye. So there is something about this connection that, that you know, your person feels is very um, intuitive, very divinely guided. You really understand each other on a deep level. You don't have to always be talking to be connected. They may have felt that they've had a lot of awareness awakenings as well through this connection so that's something they wouldn't change three of swords okay interesting four of swords three of swords wow two of cups this is this is wow we're talking about some deep love and gratitude here that they feel for you because they're saying i wouldn't even change the difficult times the three of swords the pain um the mental pain you know and confusion the emotional pain i wouldn't even change that even if this is a third party situation in one way or another and there have been obstacles and blockages i wouldn't change that you know even though that may have caused us both pain as well because we have this two of cups connection you're my person you feel like my other half and if i had to if getting rid of the painful parts meant that I also had to get rid of the good, I would I would take everything. I would take everything that we've experienced um, and everything that is to come. So, yeah, wow, okay. We have the hanged man. And, okay, before I go into the hanged man, Pisces energy there, I'm noticing, I mean, obviously this is quite a grey deck, lots of blacks, lots of whites and greys, but you know in the Three of Swords, you know, we've got the swords, white, black, then we've got this red ribbon and we've got the blood, so we've got the red. In this card we also have the whites and blacks, but now the red has turned into the um, petals on the roses. So there's something about how, again, <clears throat> excuse me, the transformative nature of this connection and how your person feels that, ev you know, they can even pull good out of the difficult times, out of the sad times, and in a way the difficulties have helped them transform, has helped this connection to transform. So it's like they're saying without the pain that we've been through, without the struggles, we may not actually be where we are today. We wouldn't be the people we are today. So they're crediting this connection with really even shaping them as well as an individual. And that's just further clarified by this hanged man. Again, taking time to step back, be at peace, see things from a new perspective, become enlightened, which is what we saw with this Four of Swords. Um, so even in the moments when maybe you're not interacting, you're not speaking, they're saying, I'm still growing so much. I'm gaining so much from this connection um, and I just would not change it you know I wouldn't be the person I am today without this connection and that's a fact okay we have judgment reversed nine of wands um, also, they're saying no matter what's going on between you or around you both, there's always this feeling of hope and it's the kind of hope, you know, sometimes you might think if I, you know, if I didn't have hope or if I could get rid of that last bit of hope, then I could just move on and leave this behind. So you can kind of feel annoyed sometimes by having any hope. Um, your person saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't get rid of that hope, even if it's like the tiniest spark. Um, I'm glad it's there, you know, because even when things are difficult, even when it feels like an uphill climb here for us to move this forward, I always have that that spark and it doesn't deflate me. I don't feel annoyed with it. I don't wish it would be ex extinguished so I could just move on and leave this behind. I'm actually really grateful for it and um, I don't want that, that, you know, spark of hope to go. Okay, we have the Hierophant reversed, Horus, and we have the Three of Wands. Okay, um, there is something about this connection that has helped your person to see outside of um, whatever they consider to be 
the norm so that's going to be different obviously for everybody you know depending on how people have grown up where in the world um which generation they've grown up in certain religions you know all of those things um influence what we think is like the regular way of doing things um and something about this connection has helped them to see beyond beyond that beyond the way people around them do things beyond what they may have considered to be the most obvious linear path for themselves so there could be um something kind of different unique untraditional about the both of you together or this connection in some way um you might be very very similar in some ways but completely different in others and you really help them to become more expansive in their thinking because of this so i would say if i had to sum this up in one word what would they keep it's the expansiveness of this connection the um the love they feel with you the connection it's bigger than anything they've experienced their mind has been blown wide open which at times may have been uncomfortable stressful but you know they're saying I just take a step back, I think through everything, I integrate it and then I'm grateful for it because now I feel like a more um, experienced person and I, I have a, a wider view on things. So <clears throat> I, I also feel the hierarchy reversed, you know, you may have shown this person um, things they need to leave, contracts they need to step away from, you know, literal written contracts or emotional investments. Um, it's almost like through seeing how connected they feel with you, seeing how much potential they can see um, in this uh, situation and connection with you, they realize through contrast, even more the connection situations in their life where there is no forward movement, you know, connection situations that just aren't serving them anymore. Um, three of wands hanged man even if your person's not taking direct action towards you right now and i feel for many of you that could be the case because there's a lot of energy of sitting back and reflecting and observing at this time coming from them it's like they're saying three of wands you know we're, we're leaving this spread um full of potential looking into the future the door is wide open they would not change the fact that they can see a future for the both of you together they are in this position where they're imagining they're envisioning um wishing manifesting drawing this future closer to them and they're saying i wouldn't change this i would not change the fact that one day i feel like all of these um you know if you look at all of these colors here they're kind of confined but one day they're going to burst through um you know break these these sticks these wands and escape and that's what they want they want this passion this potential um to escape and so that they can you know move forward with you so they wouldn't change that they feel there's a lot of abundance a lot of fertility in this connection a lot of potential um even if it hasn't grounded yet they it, it's not like it frustrates them frustrates them excuse me it's not like oh you know i want this but i can't have it um it's more like they feel a sense of gratitude and joy and hopefulness um because they're thinking of it like, well, I want this. And one day, you know, hopefully maybe we can have it. So that keeps them going. So, um, yeah, I mean, I know we are obviously looking about what they would keep, but this this today, you know, your person feels very um, like they're being taking a real higher look at things and and being um, very positive, very hopeful, very reflective. Um, not so reactive not taking everything so personally um wow so you know it feels like they're saying i wouldn't i wouldn't actually change anything and look at the back yeah ace of pentacles we know aces aren't guaranteed you know if an ace of pentacles appears in our life it's an opportunity like say it's an offer for a job it's an offer for a relationship we don't have to take it but we can um so they're saying maybe we don't have anything that's fixed and nailed down yet but i know we can have this um opportunity in the future and that is something they like the potential not because you know they wanted to just stay as potential but because um they really do believe there will be a time when you can both step into and embrace this potential okay so let's have a look then at um what your person would like to change about this situation and i'm curious to see what this is going to be because they're kind of saying i would keep everything as it is even the difficult bit, difficult bits because of how they've shaped me how they've shaped us um 
So let's see. Spirit, please show us, my viewers, person, what would they change about this situation, about this connection even? Um, I'm hearing that some of them would change how guarded they have been and possibly still are with their feelings in terms of sharing their feelings. It's like they might wish that they could just be more easy going, you know, easy breezy, not so stressed about sharing how they feel, that they didn't feel that there were such consequences to saying, I feel this way for you or, or you know, this is what I'm thinking about us. And that could be consequences like they, um, will then feel exposed and vulnerable, or it could be consequences that other people will find out and they'll get into trouble, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so for my viewer, what would that person like to change about this situation, about this connection, please? Okay, we have a hermit, Virgo. Hmm. Two of Wands. I feel one thing they would have liked to or would like to change is how much time they spend thinking about this by themselves. The Hermit and the Two of Wands. Because the two of ones, there's a feeling of frustration. It, it's We might be standing there telling people, well, I'm not moving yet because I'm deciding, you know, do I go left or right? Do I stay where I am or step outside of my comfort zone? But that's not why. We know what we want to do. It could be fear. It could be timing. Um, you know, maybe we're privately psyching ourselves up to, to take that leap. So it's almost like a frustration that um, they, while they have appreciated reflecting, they cannot deny that there have been times where they feel that they've done the reflecting and they've wanted to act, but they haven't been brave enough or or um, they felt that the situation wasn't appropriate to, to take some sort of action. Because um, even this bird, this is why I was looking at this hermit card, the crow um, is sticking its head through the bars as if it wants to get out, it wants to fly, it wants to go and deliver some kind of message or go somewhere. Um, and look, in this two of wands, there's actually only one that we can see and it's behind him. So yes, your person's saying one of the things I would change is that I, I clearly reached a point where I knew that I wanted to take some kind of action, but I didn't take the action. Um, and it could be, you know, as I said, fear, the appropriateness of the situation. It could be that they knew this very early on, so they doubted themselves because they thought, well, how can I know so clearly how I feel and what action I want to take towards you when we hardly know each other or something like that? You know, maybe it um, all came on very suddenly. OK, we have the Queen of Wands. Um, they feel that you are really angry with them or if you're not currently, that you have expressed or demonstrated in the past that you have at times been really angry and I'm talking like furious um now maybe you're thinking I have never been that angry with them but this is just their perspective of things um so something's happened that they maybe have interpreted or misinterpreted as you being like seething <laughs> you know beneath the surface with them and they're saying I wish I could change that you know I wish maybe you hadn't have been that angry with me ever or that I hadn't have done something to get you so riled up We have the Ten of Wands reversed. Wow, we've got all Wands up here. Lots of fire, lots of passion, and yet the cards that have come out, well, apart from the Hermit, um, are not so much about taking action, except for how they see you. You were very ready to take action. I'm hearing you put your um, money where your mouth is. Is that the expression? You know, you kind of, you said something, you did it, you wanted something, you went for it. Two of Wands though, Ten of Wands reversed. This is your person, umming and ahhing, feeling burdened, feeling like because they took long or took so long, you know, or too long, whatever it was, um, that that kind of really, really made you mad, made you angry. For some of you, they could even have said they were going to do such and such and then let you down, which is even worse than not promising or, or saying anything in the first place at all. So really, I'm seeing a big, big concern around how their actions or lack of action has impacted you. That's that's one of the things they would change. Um, so it's not so much, oh, I would change, you know, that I reflected for too long. It's more like the effect that that had on you. I wish I could change that. Four of Wands reversed. 
Okay, five of pentacles in reverse. Um, this is a very clear message. If your person is in a marriage, a very long-term commitment, or even a job that really prevents them from being able to move forward with you, um, or has prevented them up until this point, they're saying, I wish I could change that. Even if this is a commitment that was made way before they met you, it's almost like they're saying, now I, you know, if I'd have known 20, 30, 40, whatever years ago, that we would meet back when, I met this other person or I was offered this job or whatever this is for them, I would have said no, I wouldn't have gone there, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have walked down that path. Even if I knew I was going to stay single until I met you, or even if I knew I was going to end up um doing jobs or careers that were okay but I didn't really love, but but I knew that, you know, in the future it wouldn't interfere with us, I would have done that. I would have I would have taken those positions, I would have gone down that route. Um I mean, it's almost, it's it's not helpful, is it, to think that? I mean, you know, if they met someone, say, years before they even knew that you existed, there's there's really no point <laughs> saying, oh, if only I'd have known that you existed and that, that we would meet. Um, yet they do. That's what they think to themselves. Okay, what else would this person change about this situation or connection with these? Temperance in reverse. Yes. Wow. Sagittarius here. For some of you, I will say your person feels like you've got some real fire in you. Um, and actually, I think they're a bit afraid of this, a bit intimidated. Do you know what this is making me think of? You see how she's got this barbed wire at the end of this wand? Did any of you watch The Walking Dead? Um, what's, what's the guy in it? it? It was one of like the later seasons and he had this I think it was a baseball bat with barbed wire wrapped around it and he was sort of like really violent and, and everyone was afraid of him. I'm not, God, I'm not saying that that's you, but it's just making me think of that. Like you are, because he, he was a leader, so you have um, confidence, um, this person sees you as a leader and that's fantastic, but at the same time, if you become angry, there's a lot of momentum and force attached to you and it's kind of scary. Um, but it's down, the, the barbed wire part is down. So I'm not saying you would ever actually do anything or deliberately be really mean to this person, but they it's like whether they've directly experienced it or not, they know somehow that you have, uh, there's something explosive within you and they don't even want to tempt that to come out. You know, maybe it's your words, maybe you can be very cutting or really say some direct harsh truths. Um, or maybe you're very sort of um, passionate, you know, maybe, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but temperance is, is keeping the balance, keeping the peace. It's like there are two sides to you. Um, and somehow they feel they've got a glimpse or a sense of this side of you that's very fiery. Uh, you know, if you're unhappy, you're gonna let them know. Um, yeah. I just, I just think that intimidates them or makes them feel afraid or something. And <clears throat> it could be that you see all emotions as valid, even things like anger. So, you know, you feel, you think something's funny, so you laugh, you think something's making you annoyed, so you show that you're angry, then you move on. You know, it's, it's not something you hold on to. This person may have been more repressed. It might be that they only think certain emotions are okay. So things like anger, they just repress and it festers and they become passive aggressive, but that's not how you do things. You will just let them know, I'm really annoyed with, you know, about such and such. So it could just be simply that you will actually try to acknowledge when things have gone wrong or when your boundaries have been crossed and that makes them uncomfortable or nervous or something like that but it's yeah there are times when you let them know everything is not okay i'm not just going to pretend oh everything's peaceful everything's balanced no i'm i'm pretty annoyed right now or i'm upset about something okay what else please we have oh my god are you kidding me the three of wands we have the three of wands the final card for what they would change is exactly the same as the final card for what they would keep on top of each other what are the chances of that wow 
So there is some frustration then that what they want with you feels like it's not here right now. So they love the fact it gives them hope that there is potential, you know, you can come together, you can have this amazing abundant situation moving forward. They love that. But at the same time, sometimes they, they find it frustrating because it's like, why isn't it here now? Wow. Okay, so there we go. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get some messages um, and see what they would like to say to you at this time. Unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. Regret. I wish this never happened. Reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. <clears throat> Reunion. We will always come back to each other. indecisive yeah i know my inability to make a decision hurts you and that's exactly what we have here with the two of wands and this angry looking queen of wands um the thing is they had made a decision we only have one wand here and it's already behind him he's already to you know he's already ready to move into the future but this guy here just didn't you know um so it, it may have looked like indecision to you but maybe it was you know could have been anything fear um the ability to move forward overthinking look i don't know what it was but um it wasn't indecision it was just that they didn't take um confident decisive action forward and as the queen of wands whether you're a woman or a man watching this it's almost like to you that was incomprehensible the queen of wands the king of wands when they know something they're ready to act they do act so you were ready to act you were acting and this person was standing there and it's almost like it was maybe felt like rejection maybe it was incredibly frustrating and confusing for you and we have reveal i want to tell you the truth yeah maybe through this conversation they want to have so a couple of things i want to go in and clarify um unappreciated and secrets let's see the chariot so you might be a driven person um particularly in say like um in terms of whatever you're focused on whether it's your career a hobby um a goal that you have set yourself um maybe like family matters whatever it is you can be very very driven and you're very successful you know you just you focus on something you decide you're going to manifest something into your existence around that and you go for it and once you decide something you, you're not going to be deterred and your person may have seen this and they may have sort of incorrectly felt that you were so focused on this other thing that they didn't really matter much but i do get the feeling you were as ready to be this focused with them as whatever else they were seeing you be focused with um or focused on okay so yeah so, you know they watched they assumed they didn't ask they didn't raise this with you um they just sort of felt well if you're that focused on such and such you obviously haven't got room for for us well you know you're probably capable of focusing on more than one thing at, at once okay let's have a look at secrets and also, you know, the, the chariot is an energy of being very successful. So they may have felt inadequate and like you didn't need them, which they internalized as feeling like, well, you know, you probably wouldn't, if you don't need them, you're not going to appreciate them. So a lot of it is them assuming things, projecting onto you. Okay, secrets, let's see. King of Swords. Okay, so they want to tell you um, very clearly, very truthfully, very directly, whatever they consider to be the secret. Six of Swords. They want you both to move forward from this and they think it's going to clear up confusion or maybe it's um, reflecting on an argument that you've had. Maybe they left you hanging or something like that and they want to say something about it. Ten of Pentacles. So a secret could be they want to leave a spouse, a family, a job, um, 
something about time as well clarify this message about time please king of cups reversed and the empress um taurus libra energy here i feel for some of you they might want to tell you about some experience they had growing up um something to do with a family member or how they experienced love growing up king of cups reversed is kind of um well not very nice when it comes to emotions emotionally manipulative volatile cold all of those you know great things sarcasm of course um so maybe that's how they relate to love and when they you know came along met you they just didn't know how to show up in a healthy way potentially so i think there's something they want you to know you know to kind of explain well this is why i've been the way i have been or this is why things went the way they did when we first met um and i now have a, a wider perspective on things like people's different love languages and what it means to be in a healthy loving situation you know we've got the hanged man and we have the four of um, swords those are things they really appreciate about this connection so you've kind of shown them in some way that love isn't it doesn't come with um clauses or I'm only going to give you attention if you do this. I think this is probably some sort of parental figure. If it's not a parent, it's someone who was around them a lot as they were growing up. Um, and I think they showed through behavior. It's almost like you get my love and affection if you clean the house. I will um, do something that seems loving and nurturing to you if you're doing well at school or if you do and if you act like a mini me, you know, if you behave as as someone I can understand and recognize so you can't be your own person or whatever it is you know um that this is this is not healthy this um king of cups in reverse and I wouldn't even just say this is someone who is um who does things like silent treatment and who's passive aggressive this is someone who is is I want look the, the word I've been dancing around is nasty I don't know what that means exactly, but I feel for some of you, your person has really experienced an adult who's very nasty to them when they're a child to do with security, home, stability, love, you know, uh, maybe like, as I said, a parent or parental figure who kind of should have been showing a bit more unconditional love. You know, you can, you can grow into whoever you want and I will still be here. You can make your mistakes. That's part of growing up and all of that. But no, that's not what they were shown. Um, right. Okay, let's get another deck. And I don't even get the feeling that, you know, it's like, it's not like your person had to do anything terrible. Uh, you know, it's like, why have you done this? You know, your mistakes can't be forgiven. It's almost like, let's say um, this adult figure likes basketball and then your person wasn't even into sport growing up. That would be something that would be seen as, you know, unacceptable. Okay, what else, please, would my viewer's person like to say to my viewer? I plan to call or visit within a matter of weeks if all goes as planned. I'm having to do a lot to get ready and don't want you to know I'm coming, so please just be happy and know I'm on my way. Sometimes I just don't see how we can overcome our differences. I feel so discouraged right now. I'm trying to find a way to you, but I'm just deflated at the moment. I need a miracle. Well, in both cases, they are trying to find a way to you. You know, that's almost like this three of wands. It's like, yes, you know, so much potential for our future versus the three of wands where this person looks hunched over and they've been standing there for a millennia, you know, waiting. It's almost like, yes, I'm doing it. Oh, actually, I don't know if I can. Yes, I'm doing it. Oh, there are so many obstacles. I'm finally starting to love myself enough to be open to you loving me. Yeah, I mean, that takes me back to, <clears throat> oh, that takes me back. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? That's um, bringing up this message again of there's something they want to explain to you about why they couldn't accept your love in the first place why they maybe couldn't even accept themselves to begin with um i'm on shaky legs yet but i'm heading in the right direction i want to work on this so i'm not too needy or push you away whatever you just heard or are about to hear if it hurt you know that it was not true it's fake news and misunderstanding 
or you're just not getting the whole story. Trust me, I'll explain later. Okay, let's get two more of these. Oh, I'm still trying to get over my ex and related wounds. Please give me space while I heal and know once I lick my wounds, I'll come to you properly healed. I've really been through the ringer. Wow. So maybe some of them actually, if you, the last you heard about this person or last you spoke to them, they were in a relationship. It could be that that very recently ended and they're still sort of wrapping up um, or tying up loose ends and moving forward. I feel unsafe, fragile and vulnerable right now, totally out of my element. Please pray for my protection while I figure out my way through this illusion into my power. Okay. So definitely a big change has happened for some of you with this, this person you're asking about. Okay, so let's get a few of these handwritten cards to get a sense of maybe what's important in their life right now, what they want you to know that they're focusing on could even get some messages coming through from spirit here oh wow i followed you but you didn't realize oh, okay so that's that could be in person um it can definitely be online under a fake account or something like that wow okay Uh, we have, um, we're trying to deliver, but what are you ordering? So that's a message from spirit around manifestation. So, um, you know, keep your thoughts clear, keep your intention clear. You know, if you're wavering back and forth about something, it could be a good time to sit down and really decide, um, what is it that I want? Why do I keep going back and forth? Is there anything I can do to address that? <clears throat> because, um, basically spirit saying we're trying, you know, we're going to bring this to you, but, um, we're getting a bit confused about what it is you actually want we have sarcastic okay so someone <laughs> someone could be sarcastic maybe they think you are maybe you think they are but like not in a in a low vibrational way in kind of a funny humorous way so like um sort of uh someone who's a bit witty or something like that not someone who's being you know rude to everybody um there's something you don't know about me wow a second time we've got that message and that's coming out on top of this ten of pentacles empress king of cups reversed yeah i think um yeah look i'm all over the place i was just about to say for a lot of your person really feels like they are messed up inside and that's not my judgment of them or my assessment that's how they feel about themselves um almost like they have had very few healthy connections and relationships in their life of any kind. Um, we have, I underestimated you. I think they underestimated how important you were going to be in their life, even though they knew it intuitively, they thought, I can't possibly know it this early on. I'm gonna try and write this off a little bit. I think they underestimated how successful, powerful you are as a person in general. I think they definitely underestimated you um, in terms of you standing up for yourself, you know, that fiery, slightly scary, sometimes potentially queen of wands, you know, that you're not just gonna sit there and take it like maybe other people have in the past. Okay, oh, I'm pissed off, wow. About what <laughs> and judgmental so i don't know if they've been judgmental we did have judgment didn't we have judgment reversed yeah so i wonder if they're you know coming out of their judgmental ways these two came out together let me clarify what is going on with that okay let's see eight of pentacles okay three no three of nothing the empress reversed and then we have the lovers so divine feminine energy potentially we've got um gemini more taurus and libra again um this feels to me something about money work how someone makes their money i don't know if they feel that you've judged them in the past whether you have or not again could be them not thinking well of themselves and projecting um if I'm honest, and I don't know how many of you this is going to resonate with, but what I'm feeling here is whatever it is that you do for work, and if it's not work or career, you know, that sort of thing, it could be studying, education, it could be 
With the Age of Pentacles, whatever you give a lot of time and consistent effort to could be exercising, um, honing a craft, whatever it is, your person seems to be jealous um, because they see you as being their empress. And if I think of the lovers as being the emperor and the empress together, it's almost like they're jealous of other people around you or they're jealous of the partnership you're forming with this other activity or that other people get to take their place next to you or they want to work alongside you or something like that but there's a feeling of jealousy around your work or um as i said wherever, wherever you're giving a lot of time and it's not jealousy like oh i want what you have i want um, what you earn or anything like that it's jealousy about these other people who have access to you through your work or through this activity you're doing or your studies whatever that is yep chariot and this takes me back why do i keep saying that phrase that's <laughs> it's, okay it's reminding me of the message we had before um with them saying i felt unappreciated so yeah this is whatever you give a lot of attention to and we have justice here they might feel like this is karma for potentially ignoring you in the past it's like they could have had so much access to you in the past and they didn't take that that chance and now other people you know other people see you're amazing and are jumping at the chance to be connected to you and they're getting very cross about it so they could be judging themselves. They could be judging these other people. You know, you're not good enough to, to be talking to my person. It should be me, blah, blah, blah. So that's a bit maybe um, low vibrational. I don't know. But uh, yeah, in their sort of maybe less um, high vibrational moments, I think they do get cross when they see other people are around you more than they are or can talk to you more. Um, and look at this see how we've got the shadow of the crow this is making me think of i followed you but you didn't realize if you're on social media or you have some online presence and that's connected to whatever this is i do think they are following in some way watching following um subscribing they friended you or you know whatever terminology but they're around um but they're in disguise so they could have a fake profile fake name maybe they watch but don't comment you know whatever that sort of thing okay so i will leave this here so thank you so much um for being here i hope this helped it was definitely longer than i intended but you know yeah if you stay till the end i guess hopefully you know you've enjoyed it um i will see you again soon so yeah take care bye